This is a canaf plant, a fiber crop that's closely related to cotton. Canaf has been used for hundreds of years to produce twine and rope, but it was only in the last 50 years or so that it was determined that canaf was an excellent source for a large range of paper products, including newsprint. More research in the 1990s revealed the plant's suitability for other uses, including as an absorbent. From an organic absorbent standpoint, our product is, is the most absorbent product out there, out there on the market. It, uh, it, you know, there are other products, but one of the great advantages our product has over some of the, the typical, say, cotton-based products is our product is hydrophobic, so it will float on water. Uh, it will absorb the oil and keep floating on water, so uh, from, a, from a natural product, it uh, has some advantages some of our competitors don't have and one, another one being it has a large amount of the, the indigenous microbes in it also. That gives Brazier an edge, but so does the fact that he's the only one in Mississippi growing the crop. In the mid-90s, a number of Canaf growers, processors, and marketers formed Mississippi Delta Fiber Cooperative and built a processing plant in Charleston. About 3,000 acres of Canaf were planted in the area. But pulp prices soon fell, and growing canaf became a losing proposition. Everyone in the area quit growing canaf, everyone but Brazier, and his company is now a leading manufacturer of absorbent and bioremediation products for cleaning up oil and chemical spills. We have 360 acres this year, and uh, in this particular block right here, I think we have 260, and then down the road we have another 100 acres. But uh, we, we normally just grow kind of to what our inventory looks like, to where we'll increase the acreage if our inventory is real low and looks like sales are increasing as they go. It's kind of just a roll of the dice to how it works out. And uh, this year, with, with everything going on in the Gulf, we increased our acreage some because we got a lot of potential and a, and a lot of interest in this product. And so we, we increased some to be sure we could supply some of the demand that they were going to have down here on the coast. Canaf is planted in the spring, matures in November, but isn't harvested until February or March to let it break down naturally in the field. That makes the separation easier. This is uh, the core after it's been separated. Uh, so this is what we make our oil absorbent product from, is the inside part of the canaf plant. We take it from here and we grind it, size it, and bag it. And then we are ready to send it to the, to the field. After it, the raw material goes through grinding operation, then it uh, comes here. This is the biosor product after it's been processed, and now it's just ready to be bagged. They bag about 1,200 two cubic foot bags a day. Normally we're getting, uh, of core products per acre, we're getting about 7,400 pounds of core per acre. And each two cubic foot bag has about 11 pounds in a bag, so uh, you can, equate that back, but it's 7,400 pounds per acre of core, so about 700 bags per acre. Cleaning up an oil spill using canaf is a good environmental solution. It can be flown on with a crop duster or helicopter, and it will absorb the oil. The naturally occurring microbes will break down the oil, and since the canaf floats, you can vacuum it up or skim it off. What I'm going to demonstrate is the ability of our product can grow biosorb to absorb the Gulf oil. One pound of our product will absorb one gallon of the Gulf oil. So this is a demonstration just showing how it would do it on water. As you can see, it's spreading out. You got sheen, you got some drops. So just take this and stir it. Get it in contact with it all. As you can see, the product is floating. And then we'll remove it. So as you can see, we removed the biosorb off the water and it's basically removed the oil from the water and cleaned it up. Uh, we can t tell once it encapsulated, you can see that there's no hydrocarbons in the water. I was just sifted out. So you can see the product did retain the oil, did not let it go.
even though it's got a little coloration from the product, there is no oil in the water. Using environmentally friendly products like Canaf to clean up spills is another example of agriculture playing a part in keeping our environment clean for future generations.